Hi there, today we're going to talk about 20 seedlings to grow for sale. Let's talk about some seeds and have some fun. Surprise, surprise, right? Everybody loves tomatoes. Um, it's a great one to grow for selling as seedlings. Uh, make sure you grow a variety. Make sure you grow cherries and uh, large tomatoes because some people fancy either one or both. Um, make sure you get really healthy seedlings. Start them early. Start them like February, January, as early as possible and have really healthy seedlings for sale. So number two, peppers. Um, also nightshade and also really high in demand. Um, make sure you grow at least two varieties, one of sweet and one of spicy or hot because people are going to ask for both. Um, there's fans in both groups. Um, there's so many varieties on the market. Try to find a few different varieties that, and keep it interesting. They do require a lot more care than, than tomatoes and I'll touch on that in another video but yeah, peppers is a good one to grow as well. So number three, cucumbers. These are by far my best seller. These are very popular in the, in the summer, so much so that I would say um, put the price up a little bit for these seedlings as opposed to other ones. First of all, the, the seed prices are very expensive, um, but they're very popular, so they're definitely a must sell. Um, if you want to add these to your list, grow two varieties. Grow a pickling cuke and a regular cucumber. Um, everyone's gonna ask you the burp question, are these burpless cucumbers? Just read the manufacturers or the seed packet. Um, but yeah, these ones are probably going to be your best sellers, so don't miss out on these ones. So number four, strawberries. These ones will sell themselves. Just plant as many of these as possible. Germinate as many of these as you can because they are going to sell like hotcakes. Kids love to plant them and parents love having them in the yard for their kids. Um, my favorite variety is Mignonette. They literally taste like candy. They're little teeny tiny strawberries, but the, the bushes will just keep coming back every year and they're a great variety. I haven't found a variety so far that I like that's large, that grows large strawberries, so I just keep coming back to this one. But uh, yeah, leave, leave in the comments below what's your favorite strawberry to go. So number five is sunflowers. I don't have much of a flower background. I mostly grew veggies for market, but this is the one, uh, if you're not going to grow flowers at all, at least grow one, and this is the one I would suggest to grow. Um, flowers are going to be on the list, obviously, but if you're not into growing flowers, if you don't have much experience, don't be daunted by this one. This one is super easy to grow and very, very popular, especially for families, and that's a lot of times who's buying your seed are parents, and they love to grow sunflowers for their kids. It's such an easy and fast, comes up fast, um, flower to uh, plant to grow, so don't miss out on that one. The number six is basil. You might wonder why I'm just putting one herb. This is by far going to be your most popular herb. Um, I would suggest growing all of them, but I'll just talk about that later. Um, basil though is extremely popular and the best part about it is if you grow too much, you can always just make a pesto. If you, get, if you grow too much and you can't sell it, which I almost guarantee you will, there's always someone who wants to buy basil, whether it's a tiny seedling or an entire plant. There's always someone who wants basil. You can give it for gifts, you can sell it, you can grow it and keep it and make a, make a pesto, put it in your salads, but grow a bunch of varieties. At least grow, um, my favorite one is lettuce leaf, but you can do a mammoth one. Lettuce leaf is similar to a mammoth, it's a large leaf. And also grow a Thai variety. Those are gonna be your top two uh, most popular varieties, but you can also grow a red one like basil, cin cinnamon basil or uh, red reuben but the most popular ones are the Thai and the sweet or the large leaf ones. And now for my boyfriend's least favorite vegetable, zucchini. <laughs> it's number seven. It's very popular. Grow at least a few varieties. I try to grow um, a yellow, a green, and possibly a patty pan, which look like these. There's many different kinds. Um, you might have to talk people into them a little bit, tell them what they are but grow lots of zucchini. You're gonna need a bit more space for these, um, but you don't have to, you're not growing them to full size if you're just growing them for seedlings for sale, but definitely grow a few. So next one might be a little bit of a surprise. Number eight is pumpkins. 
Believe it or not, I thought this one wasn't going to sell much at all because you need a lot of room for these to actually grow. But I sold a lot of these and I even sold the ones that I was trying to keep for my own garden because they just were very popular. So a lot of people like to grow these probably because they're popular for their kids. Um, and maybe people don't realize how easy they are to germinate, but try to grow a few of these. It doesn't really matter the variety. Um, I found people were pretty happy with my small sugar because it's a eating variety as well as it gets to be about jack-o'-lantern size as well. But you can grow the little teeny tiny ones. Those are probably going to be really popular as well. So give it a try. So number nine is peas and chickpeas. Um, these are really popular and really, really easy to grow, so why not, right? If you want something that grows fast and you want to get it out the door and start making sales right away, grow peas, grow beans, but peas and chickpeas are kind of in the same ca same category. They're both grown in the same, pretty much the same kind of way. Um, I like to grow a snow pea, I like to grow a shelling pea, but pretty much any kind of pea will do. Um, these are the chickpeas here, um, they're just no, no variety name, just regular chickpeas, they look like that. And uh, yeah, they grow really easily and very popular to sell them too. So number 10 is herbs. And this is not the herbs that you're all thinking about. This is just kitchen herbs. So there's a huge variety of herbs, herbs you can grow. They are a little trickier than some seeds to, to get going. But uh, that's the beauty because everyone thinks they're so hard so they don't grow them from scratch, especially, especially rosemary. Rosemary and lavender are two of the herbs that are pretty tricky to, to germinate. But you can get there, you can just try some experiments and try growing them year after year and pretty soon you'll be surprised at how well you can grow these things. Um, a few other ones to grow, I'm going to start with lemongrass this year, try catnip, try um, fennel, try tarragon, um, parsley for sure, uh, cilantro will go like crazy, people love um, dill and cilantro, super popular but there's endless amount of, um, try different ones in your area, try, try new ones in your region and yeah, before you know it you'll have so many herbs to sell. So 11 is lettuce and mustard greens. These are pretty um, foundational herbs in the garden. You'll get a lot of um, beginning gardeners, first time gardeners, and it's really important to have the foundational veggies on hand. Um, generally I suggest growing at least two, a red, a red uh, lettuce and a green lettuce. You can, grow, you can try doing a uh, romaine lettuce as well. Romaine is really popular, especially for Caesar salads and stuff. One that I grow is uh, Rouge de Hivier, it's an heirloom. Uh, but Try your hand at lots of different ones and see how they go. Mustard greens are also really popular, so try some of those as well. So number 12 is brassicas. So that's kind of the umbrella name for everything that in that, in that family, uh, from cauliflower to kale to broccoli, cabbage, um, Asian greens, kohlrabi, collards. There's endless amounts of, of brassicas out there. So grow as many as you can and they're a cold season veg, so start them early or start, grow them later in the year for sale. Um, if you have luck growing them for yourself, otherwise just grow them for seedlings to sell. And yeah, there's so many to choose from, so don't pass up this one. So number 13 is the onion family. So that's everything in the onion family that you want to grow. Um, onions are the most popular though, just the basic white or yellow onion. Um, red onions are, are popular too. What I found are not really popular so far, at least last year when I was selling seedlings, I didn't sell one leek. I had a whole tray of leeks, had it advertised and everything. Um, could have just been I was late in the year or something or maybe people that grow leeks just want to grow them from seed themselves. I don't know. I'm going to try them again this year, but uh, usually I'll grow um, scallions, so the green onions. I'll grow uh, red onions, white onions. Um, many different varieties, but you can also grow chives, that's in the onion family as well. Um, yeah, grow some leeks and see if they sell. Hasn't been my number one uh, most popular seedling, but give it a try. So these next three are going to be grouped under, under number 14. So they are beets, Swiss chard, and spinach. And they're not extremely popular, but they're a really good idea to add to um, your seedling assortments to add more variety, more color, uh, more options for your customers. Um, there's many types of beets you can grow, some yellow ones, some heirloom ones that have rings called Kyogia, um, different shapes and sizes. There's lots of Swiss chards out there. I just grow bright lights for Swiss chard. Um, there's spinach, there's a couple different varieties of spinach. There's some that are resistant to bolting, so that will make it really easy for your customers to grow lovely spinach for their salads. Um, but yeah, try a bunch of varieties and tell me what you think. 
So number 15 is eggplants. It's actually a really fun uh, plant to grow to full maturity. But for seedlings, just grow it at the same time when you're spouting your tomatoes. Um, seed it then if you can. And uh, as many varieties as you want, really. This is a pretty, pretty popular, um, I would say medium popular uh, vegetable in our, in our neighborhood, in our uh, community. Um, but there's white varieties, there's purple varieties, there's the, the giant egg shaped one, and then there's just smaller, long shaped fingers, finger shaped ones. But yeah, grow as many varieties of eggplant as you like. I find it to be a really fascinating plant, but um, a lot of people like to grow it too, and it's fun to talk about growing, and yeah, give it a try. Number 16 is melons. Um, this is going to be dependent on your zone. You might not have a zone that has a season long enough to do melons, but if you do and you're lucky enough to have a nice warm summer, um, do as many melons as you can because those are going to be pretty popular as well. I like to do a watermelon, um, a cantaloupe, and a honeydew, but there are so many other varieties out there. There's many different types of uh, watermelon and musk melons and all kinds of stuff. They're fun for kids to grow. So yeah, do a few of these and let me know what you think. So number 17 is corn. Corn actually did really well for me last year. It was pretty fun because it was my first experience growing corn um, for the first time all the way to maturity and I, we had a lot of fun with it. Um, but it grows really well as a seedling. It grows fast, obviously, and people, people like buying it as a seedling. So it's easy to transplant and everything. Um, the only thing for preference, I do like to grow an heirloom variety or at least a variety that isn't patented because there's a lot of corn growing in the world these days and people have tweaked it and stuff like that and we won't get into all that but one of uh, the heirloom varieties is Golden Bantam. Um, there are some varieties of corn that you can grow with another variety of corn and they won't cross pollinate but most corn you just want to grow one variety if you just have a little backyard or a small farm because the wind pollinates and they will cross pollinate. Um, they will cross pollinate each other. So just either pick one or do a little bit of research and uh, see if there is another one you can grow with um, a variety and they won't cross pollinate. So the variety that is absolutely the most popular and well known is peaches and cream, and I have no problem growing that. You'll probably want to grow that um, almost on a two to two to one uh, basis because people will literally ask for this variety constantly but try to try to also suggest a different variety that they can grow with it that won't cross pollinate or uh, point them toward the heirloom and I have no problem growing peaches and cream as long as they're buying seedlings from you it doesn't really matter right so yeah those are the those are the ideas for corn so number 18 is beans. You might be surprised to uh, see this on the list at all since it's so easy to grow, it's so easy to germinate, but believe it or not there are so many um, gardeners out there and would-be gardeners and beginning gardeners that don't even really know anything about germination or just don't have the space or the time or the, the trays or anything for germination. So give these ones a try. Obviously they will grow really tall really fast so get them get them advertised as soon as you plant them or as soon as you seed them advertise them right away and you'll see them fly out the door um, I like to grow purple ones and green beans and shelling beans and I, I kind of collected a whole bunch over the winter so I have a whole bunch of different varieties to try out and I'm really excited about that but yeah give these a try everyone has their favorite right so give these ones a try so number 19 is squash this goes along with uh, pumpkins and zucchini, same family. Um, there's so many varieties though, there's summer squash, there's winter squash, and there's just so many varieties. It's fun to try new ones all the time, and then if you have room in your garden, you can grow a few for sale, grow a few for yourself, but everyone has their favorite, so make sure you grow lots for your customers, and I'm sure you'll have a lot of fun with it too. So number 20, we're at the end here, but number 20 is just flowers. Any flower that you uh, can grow and that you enjoy growing that you know a lot about so if your customers ask you um, questions about it you can help them out. Um, one of my favorites is sweet peas. I find it really easy and just so so pretty so so nice smelling so I really like growing that one and it sells really it's easy to sell it's easy to grow to start it early in the year too so I really like it but I grow a variety. Um, I'm not huge on selling flowers. I don't have a lot of experience, but more and more every year I'm, I'm growing more and more and trying new varieties all the time. Um, straw flowers are a great one. Black Eyed Susan, poppies. There's just so many varieties of flowers. So grow what you love. Um, two uh, bonus ones. There's lots of 
lesser known seeds you can grow, but two bonus ones I suggest and that are pretty easy to germinate and kind of fun, kind of fun uh, extra seedlings to grow are goji berries and tomatillos. So tomatillos are like these little tomato kind of things. You grow them basically like a tomato, but they kind of grow like weeds almost. They're not too hard uh, to grow and to germinate. Um, they are used in uh, salsa verde and they're also similar to ground cherries. Goji berries are also pretty easy. I would grow them kind of like strawberries. They're a little bit like a tiny, tiny seed, a little bit harder to germinate. Um, but the plants take two years to produce fruit, so that's one drawback. But they aren't, they aren't hard. Once you germinate them, they're not hard to, um, to grow. So uh, this is our list and uh, this is what, what I plant from year to year. This is my lovely videographer right here. Thanks so much for joining us. I hope you had as much, as much fun as we did. Um, let us know in the comments below what you grow and what you have success growing for sale as seedlings or as vegetables. And uh, give us some ideas and any questions you have, don't be afraid to put them in the comments and we'll do our best to answer them. Thanks a lot. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.